being a Back to the Future fan, whenever I saw that there was a affordable toy on Amazon that looked somewhat like a flux capacitor, I knew I had to buy it. I snapped this image from the promotional video on Amazon for the toy, and uh, it, it is that bright. You notice how it's blowing out the uh, iris on the camera? This is how it looked on my webcam, so I had it sitting behind me, and when I was on a conference call, you couldn't even make out the fact that it was a flux capacitor. It was just a white blob, which sort of made it useless for my purpose. So in this video, I'm going to show what I did to reduce the brightness of the flux capacitor. Hopefully you guys find this useful. So when you look inside, this is what you're going to see. The yellow leads are going to go off to a push button. The red and black leads are going to go off to the USB. And then the uh, LED uh, drivers are your standard um, WS2812s. And uh, those WS2812s, which are what you're going to see there in the blue, green, and white conductors, um, are digitally controlled. So there's not, it's not like a common with, you know, three uh, positives or vice versa. So what you see there, those three lines, the white is going to be positive, I think. Yep. The blue was negative and the green was your digital data to control the lights. So this driver was, I don't know if it's overdriving the LEDs or what, but it is, there's no way it's, it's way too bright. So anyhow, that's, that's what you're looking at here. So what you do is you desolder the battery positive and negative, the red and the black, and then desolder each of the individual LED uh, digital uh, buses there. So the three leads going to each one. Pay attention to what's marked as positive, what's marked, data is going to be in the middle, and what's marked as negative. And uh, we'll show what they do next. What you see now is me testing the Arduino code. I've got a breadboard behind and I plugged up one of the LED kits or one of the LED packs and I also plugged up one of my little RGBs that I had setting on the shelf just to test the code and make sure it was working. I wasn't sure if this was even going to work with the standard Arduino library, but it did. All right, so this is the now complete hack of the uh, Back to the Future flux capacitor. So the built-in LED driver was just blindingly bright and way too slow. So when you powered it up, and I, I didn't shoot a video of it because I was so mad at it, but it just blindingly bright and it would go boom, boom, just really slow. And I don't know how they were driving it, by the way. So it's a it's your standard um, WS2812 driver. Um, and they've got some Chinesium WS2812 driver. So it's a three-wire like little bus. I had some tape in here. That's that's unrelated. Actually, I can just take that out now. It's unnecessary. That's something I was trying earlier. It doesn't need to be in here. I left it in there because you know, it wasn't hurting anything. Now that I'm showing it to you on camera, <laughs> it's going to get bowled out. Um, so what I did here is I took the Arduino Nano and I just bent the digital pin over so it's out of the way. And I just laid it in here and I cut these pins off because, again, I'm being lazy. I'm like, whatever. I should have gotten the one with the uh, without the headers on it, but that's fine. Uh, and then I took this little circuit board, I clipped, and I soldered the legs, and I tacked on the positive and negative coming in from the USB. So that's 5 volt from USB, along with the common, it comes in and goes to Mr. Uh, Arduino, and then the data lines and power are all together here. So I've got D4 connected on this. Um, I just copied and pasted, I looked, I looked for uh, WS2812 LED chase program and I found some random forum post and I was like, okay, good enough. Copied and pasted. I changed some variables and that was it. That was the extent of the complexity here. Um, but yeah, this, this driver board was way too bright and it's dumb and you can't do anything on it. At least now I can reprogram this. If I was going to be more intelligent, I would have soldered off the uh, USB header and put like a proper USB port, but I don't care enough. It's a toy. I just want the background fluxing. That's all I really wanted. So let me uh, screw the back case back on this thing and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's properly running. All right, and here's a moment of truth. Let me go plug it in. There you go. And uh, yeah, I think that looks more flux capacitory. I don't know that the frame rate on this is doing it justice, but it certainly looks a lot better um, in person. The thing is, though, like I said, it's not blindingly bright now, so like it's not blowing out the iris on the camera, and I can have it in the background is just a nice thing, and I can reprogram that flash pattern. Um. All of the elements, all these WS2812s are hooked in parallel. 
And it's interesting. It looks like it, it drives it like there are three LEDs on each element, and they're all white. So you've got R, G, and B, but like red, 0 to 255, green, and then blue, you know, 0 to 255 on each one. If I turned every channel to 255, this is how bright it got. I could have ran it just on like red or blue or green, just a single channel, and it was one-third the brightness. That is really weird. I hadn't seen that before. So I hope you maybe have, I don't know. It's just weird. But yeah, if you're doing this, just, you know, use your standard uh, program there. And I'll, I'll link in the comments that where I stole from a forum post. The LED Chase program, I literally just copied, pasted, and modified a little. Um, this was not complicated. So, digital pin 3, uh, 5 volt, and, uh, you know, straight from the USB, and then common, you know, negative straight from the USB, and that that's really it. There's not much to it. So, hopefully this will save somebody from trouble and let them program this into some cool blink patterns. There we go. And now we have a much speedier flash that's nice and clean, and, uh... Yeah, much better. It also doesn't blind you anymore.